today we're going to be looking at this techwear case. It's the VXN Evo case. It's got dual tempered glass, three fans, which are ARGB, and it's a micro ATX format with a dual chamber design. The Techwear VXN Evo and ATX case combines style and practicality for PC builders. This dual chamber case enhances both aesthetics and functionality, featuring RGB illumination with three ARGB fans that will sync with your motherboard. Its design includes a locking mechanism for quick access inside the machine, removable dust filters and multiple routing holes for cable management. It also supports various fans and radiator setups. It accommodates GPUs up to 400mm, making it a versatile option for those prioritising looks and performance. The packaging of the case is straightforward. A simple brown box adorned with black print featuring an image on the front and specifications on one side. Inside, the case is secured with polystyrene padding. Accessories include a bag of screws and cable ties located inside the case, otherwise there's nothing else, no manuals or any rubbish. The case measures 415mm in length, 280mm in width and 377mm in height. It's designed to accommodate MATX and ITX motherboards. It offers a variety of storage options with two 3.5 inch hard drive bays and three 2.5 inch solid state drive slots alongside four PCI extension slots for additional hardware. Cooling is also a priority with this case which includes one 120mm fan pre-installed at the rear and another two on the side which are actually reversed fans. Additional fan mounts are available with space for three 120mm fans each on the top and bottom and the case also supports a range of radiator sizes with clearances for 120m, 240 and 360mm on the top, 120, 240 on the side and 120 on the rear. This setup ensures ample cooling for high-performance components, supporting GPUs up to 400mm in length, CPU coolers up to 157mm in height, and a power supply up to 200mm long. The top of the case features an accessible I.O. panel equipped with essential connections and controls. This includes one USB 3 port, one USB 2 port, it also houses the power button, a reset button, and an RGB control button for easy customization of light and effects. Additionally, a magnetic dust filter is conveniently positioned on the top, which can be quickly removed for cleaning. The case is tempered glass as a toolless design, featuring a three-sided border and easy removal. The glass panels have sort of an infinity effect going on where if you look through one plane of glass to the other plane of glass, you get a sort of a reflection of the insides of your machine. This unique feature enhances the case visual impact, but is difficult to film or photograph. The reverse side of the case features a standard metal panel with built-in vents to support side air intake for the side fans as well as the power supply unit. The bottom of the case features a dust filter that slides out from the side, making it extremely easy to clean as well as remove if you wish to install additional fans at the bottom of the case. At the rear, the case includes four expansion slots, accommodating only MATX or ITX motherboards. No full-size motherboards here, guys. It lacks options for vertical mounting, keeping the design simple and focused on compact, efficient configurations. The side fans feature reverse facing blades, enhancing aesthetics while effectively pulling in fresh air. 
Although visually appealing with their ARGB capabilities and daisy-chained connections, these fans are solely serial ATA powered, restricting them to a constant speed. While you can hear them, they're not overly noisy. The ARGB connections are also daisy chainable, allowing an additional device connection. This can be controlled via the motherboard or via the RGB button on the top of the case. The case includes numerous tie down points and cable management holes, which aid in maintaining a neat setup. However, in our white case, the presence of black cables might require some effort to conceal for a cleaner look. Additionally, the storage bay at the back is removable, providing sufficient space for cable routing, making it easy to manage cables effectively, even for those who are not cable management experts. The airflow of the case is effective out of the box. In our tests, it effectively cooled an NVIDIA 3070 graphics card, as well as an Intel i9-13900K CPU without any problems using a Techware liquid cooler. In summary, the Techware 
VXN Evo NATX case is commendable for its attractive appearance and useful features. Despite a few areas for potential improvements such as PWM controlled fans, colour matched cables and a USB Type-C option, it remains a solid choice for PC builders seeking a stylish and functional case. Where can you go and meet hundreds of people just like you? Strengthen existing relationships and forge new ones with vendors and distributors and meet some of the biggest names in the industry. Where you will be able to go and see the newest tech and services that you need to make your IT business grow. And there'll be thousands of pounds worth of prizes up for grabs. And what's more, you get all that for a quid. TechMax 2024 will be on the 21st of June at Magna Adventure and Science Centre near Meadow Hall in Sheffield. This year's event will incorporate a live tech awards with evening casino entertainment, meeting areas, demo and interactive areas and 800 other techs just like you. So go get registered now at TFTMAX com I hope you enjoyed this video and know I did. Why not check out one of our other videos by clicking this box up here or this one just down here. Otherwise, you can give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you think and we'll see you next time.